Hello guys, so I'm just basically riding this Sagway Eep Moped C80. Um, I actually rode around tour here in St. Augustine, Florida, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you about it. I, I know it's like 20 minutes of a video, but I'm just going to tell you about this e moped and what it's all about. Is it, you know, basically worth the money and the feature, what it, it has in it. By me riding this for a while, I'm just surprised with it, first of all. And I know it's a long video. You don't have to watch the whole video here. But I'm just going to show you my experience riding this thing, <laughs> you know, and I'll tell you all about it, especially here with my son and what I think of it and also what the people reaction riding this thing in the oldest town in St. Augustine, Florida. And I'm just showing you guys the result here. And also I'm riding this on the rough condition, guys. And over here in St. Augustine, they got some oldest roads that you can even think of. It has still access that you can ride around in St. Augustine and tell you about, about it more. But anyway, just me riding this thing. It was a hot day, but I actually totally enjoyed it. Um, this e-moped C80 scooter, I mean, it's just comfortable. I mean, right now, this is like the oldest town roadway here in St. Augustine. And I'm actually riding it here like I don't even feel the bumps. I mean, this thing is just super comfortable riding it around. Even on hot days, um, the scooter didn't have no, no issue riding it at all. And I mean, with my son here with me, this thing is just go super smooth. And right now, guys, you see this brick road. I mean, if you ride like typical scooters or typical electric skateboard or maybe in one wheel, I mean, you'll feel it in your knees. That's how it is in over here, how the roads are. <laughs> I mean, back then in St. Augustine, they used to use horses. It's not really designed for, I would say, you know, riding it with car tires or scooter tires or bicycles. But you can see here, I'm still able to ride it around. So you hear that sound like, I mean, this road is like not even, I would say smooth. It, it is like uneven. I mean, it's all break. It's electric. But this scooter can handle it without no problem. And you guys can go ahead and see here, this like the old um, road here in St. Augustine. And now I'm on my way to basically to the city and St. George Street We're gonna go ahead and go to the park. here in St. Augustine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys that so the reaction of the people see this thing. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> wow. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I don't really get the chance to show you guys the gauge on this thing, like see exactly how fast I'm going, but I'm probably going about like, I would say maybe like 10 miles an hour or eight miles, maybe 12 max i didn't really put it to the max level of the speed on here because you know of course i'm in town just riding it around yeah. but it's really comfortable running it around over here really? even though it's in a hot Power here in the hot day that we rode and of course i'm using the 360 gopro camera max here and i don't really have another camera to show you guys the gauge exactly i'm going but you guys can go ahead and see here the people the reaction I'm over here riding most likely a bicycle. Bicycles. <laughs> you know, e moped. It's like, what the heck? You know, they think it's just like a scooter, you know, but they realize it has pedals. So, yes, it's basically a bicycle. Um, that's what we're doing here. We're just riding around. And I'm actually going to the town now on St. Jo George Street. You guys can see here. Um, going to the back road. Just you know, see what this um, e-moped Sagway scooter can do. This video is not really a tour. <laughs> I'm the reason why I'm just riding this around St. Augustine because over here is just different roads. And also the people reaction on this e-moped, you know, you can actually tell, especially me riding this around with my son, but a lot of people liked it. It's very quiet. This is electric and 
the looks of it is just like it had this futuristic moped look to it also and and people see the pedal so people think it's just an e-bike scooter so um yeah i basically got away with it i don't think you need to put a tag on this um e-moped slash e-bike a bicycle you can see here i'm just pedaling <laughs> yeah and it's like i would say this is like the tesla of uh electric e-moped the reason why i'm saying that because there's a lot of feature to it it's not just you know like electric moped or electric uh i would say e-bike and evil people always think like oh it's a tesla it's not man. <laughs> okay first of all this thing right here has a lot of feature okay you talk about like you know um nfc cards um i theft gps um, how smooth this thing is it's a Segway then it feels like luxury um, e-moped I think that's the reason why it's like that because the price also you know um, they bump it up to like 2000 and on this e-moped and that's that's the reason why I think the price is about right because I mean this has got a lot of feature on this e-moped it's not the fastest it's not like the most long range of a scooter i would say for electric but me riding here in st augustine um i mean i didn't even see the battery dropped or anything of course i'm i'm in the like eco mode i would say i'm in slow mode but by me riding around already this far i could tell already by just looking at the battery level but it seems good man um I think this one right here has the range of 54 okay, okay. miles. I gotta go check it out again. I mean, this is a lot. This reason why I routed for 20 minutes and, and I made this video, you know, because I'm just showing you guys it, what exactly what this e-bike can job. do. And um, of course, I'm just riding into the roads, different road, different terrain. So and, now we're gonna go ahead and you guys can see here and go over here um even you know <laughs> there's the cop right there and you just ride this in a normal because of the bike lane you basically can get away with it you know just and of course the look of this scooter is not like too much you know it's, it's basically it's, it's like a mini moped basically with, with uh, the pedals so it does come with the pedal it has all this feature to it and um it's just super quiet riding in a row the battery in this thing is huge now we're in the park. i mean you can actually there's two ways you can, do. You can actually charge it from just yeah. uh, inside the scooter favorite. seats or you can take him off and let's you know, go, you just go here. and charge it whatever you go but the battery is pretty big enough that you can actually have one charge in this thing park, your, park, day, park, park, your whole park. day will be okay <laughs> but um yeah just park in here and you don't even have to do anything just basically go back to your phone and then um go back to the Sagway app and then just go ahead and lock turn for power and there you go i guess just hold on to this one and now it's off so that means power is off and it's ready to go. and it's ready to go pretty simple as that and you can just leave it there so it's great for commute of course i'm here with my son i have to take him to the park <laughs> you know so have his time but anyway like i said this is great to commute running around town um with this battery size of this moped to come in i think you have a plenty of ride so if you have any other question about this e-moped um Segway c80 just let me know in the comment um there's i would say lots of positive and i have a few negative that i don't really like about this already um i would say it's like i mean it's only three thirty three 33 kilometers um i think it would be better if the if Sagway, you know, put it to all the way to like 25 miles an hour or 
add a sport mode to it. The max speed on this one, I think, is like maybe 21 or 20 miles an hour, something like that. But everything is good, though. I mean, like I said, I mean, not much negative. That's what I, for me, you know. <laughs> but everything about this is, I would say, good, man. I'm, I'm running it around for a while now, and just everything what it's in here is just surprised me riding it around of course and over here this is like a rough road with the front suspension and also the rear suspension it can just eliminate that of course with the tire um it's good so the size of the tire is pretty decent the weight on this emo pad is kind of interesting um it's not heavy like i thought it would be you know hundred something pounds something like that but it's actually pretty light pretty lightweight you know i would say compared to other still considered a size bicycle, of a bike <laughs> emo pit like this size i would say you know i think this is pretty much light lighter compared to if you if you compare this to a moped with the same size or something like that this one's probably lighter yeah, we're i want that fun. just much easier because <laughs> it's really confusing you know like, but you can see here, I'm actually on the bicycle lane or, you know, people actually walking at and here, I have no problem. People like it, you know. Now we're over here in St. Augustine. Look at that, going uphill. Woohoo! Yay! This place is beautiful. So if you've never been in St. Augustine, you should definitely check it out. Um, there's a lot of historic place here. It's actually the oldest city. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what's all in this around. other area here. Excuse me, sorry guys. It's a bicycle. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at this guy. Hold on. Hey, look at the bird. Look at the birdie. Fly. still manage to ride around and then I just do a pedal just a little bit <laughs> Woo so the pedals help if you're going uphill or if you just want to you know okay, you wanna eliminate some of the um, beautiful rough terrain area with this thing actually works we're going to the road now speed I can actually paddle just a little bit keeping it just to riding around with <laughs> here the brakes 
the front disc brakes um i haven't really like messed around with the front brakes yet but i think you basically just all of them when they came out like this you know it's have that weird sound but eventually it's gonna wear off and now we're over here what a stunning place it is <laughs> I can I can get away with it. You know why it has a pedal. No tag needed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, you want to go home now? So my son enjoy riding this thing, so I'm probably going to add more accessories. Mm -hmm this later on well I had to ride this here in St. Augustine with this e-moped Sagway C80 um, you guys can go ahead and see here yeah so let me know what you guys think man I'm actually like I said I rode it around See what this thing's all about i totally enjoy riding it i mean it's pretty fun riding this around town even those hot days where i'm at but the suspension the smooth ride what this thing have to offer is just we do have a dark history to i would say yeah It has that futuristic look to it. I mean, you know, for the Sagway product, I just can't wait to see beep, beep. the new version of this <laughs> coming out, like what, maybe in 10 well, years from now? <laughs> but anyway, just riding around here. It's a bicycle. Riding a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes, we're in a beautiful place. We're in St. Augustine. Riding up here. So guys, it's fun riding around. Time to go to the bridge. Oh yeah, the bridge is still close. Brum brum.
guys it's a, it is a long video and i'm just actually showing you the town here in st augustine where i'm at and also in riding this especially in the hot weather you know very uncomfortable weather and with this e moped the way it rides the way it feels it's just the smoothness it just make me want to ride more even my son enjoyed it while riding it around most likely he'll be like i'm tired i'm done you know but he actually enjoyed it um and of course over here i actually showed you the terrain the area that i'm riding it around rough locations and that's about it but anyway if you have any other questions just let me know below or just comment me down and yeah and I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I have more video to come for this. So if you're going to go ahead and check this out, check for the next video. And we're going to go and see what else, what this thing, e-moped from Sagway C8 can do.